everyone, welcome back for another video. Uh, another daily upload for you guys. Thanks for joining me. If you're already subscribed, you're awesome. If not, hit that damn subscribe button. What are you waiting for? It's free. Come on. So, let me actually show you around the whole garage here. I'll tighten that a little bit. But, um, yeah, that's, that's mo mainly, that's all car parts, this stuff. Um, I think there's actually a couple CDs and stuff in there, but uh, that's mainly house and some car cleaning products. These are empty bins and tires back there, but. Yeah, this place is a mess and I need to, I guess straighten it up a little bit and I have to pack more. So if you didn't see the last daily, well the beginning I guess of my daily uploads. Um, why is this look so crooked right now? So yeah, if you didn't see the Wednesday video, I'm gonna try to be doing some daily uploads until I move. Um, I did block out the dates in that video because I guess after the fact I could give you the dates but I don't even think that matters that much. It's really days in the timeline more than the exact days which don't really matter. Actually colder in the garage than it is outside today for the first time in a while. It's 61 degrees out but pretty muggy, a little wet. Hopefully it doesn't rain since I pulled the bends out and there's like holes in it. Everything in here is starting to like get a, layer, a little layer of like sweat on it. So today I'm thinking I'm going to talk about shipping your cars across country. At least what I learned. I obviously am not an expert on this. It's my first time doing it. Um, but I also do need to pack so you might see some packing going on. I don't know to what extent because I also need to make like a bag or a box of stuff that's coming with this in the RV that's not getting shipped out by the movers so we have it on hand. I guess we'll look at some of the stuff in the drawers because these drawers are kind of a mess. If we put you over here. Um, these drawers over here were kind of like my stuff. Then this was kind of like shared between me and the wife. Then this was mainly car part stuff and that one over there is more like gardening and more wife slash house stuff. Uh, these cabinets are staying with the house when we move. So, gotta pack them up. I really gotta start cleaning up after I'm done working on the cars. So, top drawer is mainly screws and fasteners of different sorts. Probably keep these with me. Maybe the rest are gonna get packed up, but I don't know yet. This draw, a lot of different fasteners for like the cars. This, I don't even need that anymore. Those, I don't even think I opened that. But different fasteners and stuff. Next one down, more like electrical wiring stuff. Um, I might have a video on making this for the 240 before I um, redid it for a cooler setup, but there's that stuff. This draws just slings and other goods, some drill bits which I'll probably keep with me. And then this bottom drawer, I cleaned stuff out of it already, just a couple welding things as the hitch for the, the truck. Um, the piece of the 240, I'll probably just throw that out because unless you see this video and you want it. So that shouldn't be too hard to pack up into one of these boxes. I'll probably just take this box right here that's underneath something so I can't show it to you. Uh, probably just use that box for now and then um, we'll talk, I guess. I think I decided I'm just gonna throw the welding gear up top when I uh, when this gets shipped out. Uh, I'm gonna take a few more things out like the radar detector and whatever else. And I mean, it's gonna be a mess when it shows up, especially like, I mean, this drawer's already a little messy. Uh, this draw, not too bad. This one, everything's basically in a place. So, um, shouldn't be too horrible when this gets shipped out, but I'm expecting for the worst, I guess. All right, so I packed up enough. Uh, the other side is basically packed as just a few more things, which doesn't matter to you guys. But if you're still here, what matters to you guys is shipping a car across country. So let's go over some of the things I learned 
and maybe some of the things you should know if you're considering shipping a car across country. Now, first off, do your research, look at reviews for all these different companies. The company I'm going with, I had a friend that actually moved cross country last year and he uses con this company, so I'm using them also. It's easy auto ship. I was talking to a couple different companies, uh, got quotes from here and there, and the quotes are pretty similar. Now, I know I said I was gonna go over prices after the fact, but uh, I'll just let you know the price for now. So, to ship two cars across country, open trailer, um, if you, you could do enclosed, but that's a lot more money, uh, open trailer is gonna cost me $4,300. So, once again, that's some of the reasons we sold the Mustang and the 240. I know you don't wanna hear about the 240 again, but the Mustang, I never really dove into it. Uh, the Mustang is, is an awesome car, love that car, but at the same time, it wasn't anything special that would be hard to come by again if we ever wanted another one and you could just order the brand new one or just buy a used one, pretty simple. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. The 240 on the other hand with the body kit and whatnot and shipping it and how to start the car and let it run and this, that, the other thing, it's gonna be too, too stressful to ship it and also it not the right car for where we were moving. So I went over that in one of the other videos, I think. Go back, check those out, but let's, uh, let's continue on with this moving stuff. So from my understanding, I think it used to be about $1,500-ish to ship a car across country. So I'm not going all the way to California. We're only going to Utah, which is 20, I'll get it for you exactly, actually. Hold on, it's loading. It's 2,400 miles from here to there. Um, I guess if you're shipping completely across country, it'll probably be a little bit more. My research is about 2,000 to $2,300 per car. A lot of it is COVID pricing and also the price of gas has been up if, you haven't, if you've been living under a rock and didn't realize uh, the gas has been up. So stuff like that. I also paid a little bit extra to lock in a specific date. So this is another thing you're gonna have to figure out when you're, if you're considering doing this is they give you a window. So whatever company you go with is basically just like a dispatcher and I guess contractor drivers take the job. So, they don't actually work for the company, but they're fully insured and these companies don't allow them to pick up jobs unless they have this fully full insurance for transporting cars. So since we are taking the RV across country, which is gonna take us three days to travel, hopefully only three, possibly four, we wanted a specific day to pick up because they told us it's about four to six days to get from here to there. So we paid a little bit extra to get the exact date that we want and then we're leaving the day after, which if we leave, if it takes us three days, we'll get there the same day as the first day in that four to six day window. So hopefully we're good there. I'm hoping it actually takes the cars a little bit longer, just so we're definitely there. When the driver takes the job, you give them a down payment. And I guess the down payment goes to the shipping company. That one wasn't completely clear to me. I mean, I could probably ask them again to make sure, but they take a down payment. This company takes either 250 to $300 when the job is taken. And that could probably be about the week of the job. So um, it's a little stressful not knowing that the car is actually gonna be picked up on the day that they said it's gonna be, be picked up, but they do guarantee that happening. So that's something to take into account because the window I believe was three days. So it could be a day before, a day after, or it was three days before and three days after. I don't specifically remember, but if it's three days after, we're not gonna be here and we would have to get one of our parents to come up to make sure the cars get shipped out properly. So uh, that was a stress we just didn't want to deal with. We just paid a little bit extra, which I don't remember how much extra it was, but we paid a little bit extra to get them picked up on a specific day. Now all the major companies are gonna be roughly the same price from my understanding. If there's someone a lot cheaper than that, there might not be as many guarantees going along with the job. Another bit of information, if you're doing a move across country and you don't have dates or locations set up, don't even check any of these websites to look for a quote because these companies will not stop calling you until they basically have you booked or till they have the full information, which I could have handled it a little better by actually answering the phone and telling them I wasn't ready to ship my car, but I did get phone calls multiple times a day from multiple different companies for like a week straight. After a certain point, it was just kind of like a game, like I'm not gonna pick up the phone just to see how many times these places will actually call me. My price is locked in for that $4,300, like I said earlier. I'm sure if gas started going up more, that price would go up also because the driver has to make money. The driver has to actually be able to afford to make it over there. Keep that in mind also when you're 
considering doing this. So this video and the next video I make kind of on this topic about us taking the RV there, gonna have a little overlapping information, so uh, bear with me with that. It's kind of important to the whole story, move, logistical stuff. Now the last bit of like information, important information is how do you pay? So the company, I said 200 to 300, it's, or whatever I said, it was, it's 200 to 350 deposit that they take on your credit card. Then on delivery, you pay the driver. You pay the driver the remaining balance. You have to pay in either cash, check, or money order. So you're not gonna be able to pay with your credit card, which is another reason. It's kind of stressful doing this move, so hopefully it takes more than the four days, because if it's the fourth day in the morning, we're not gonna be there yet, and we need to figure out that logistics of it. We, the only person we know lives two hours from there, which we might be able to get to receive the cars for us, which is a weird favor because we have to get them the money in the first place. This is kind of the stress of transporting your car if you're moving cross country. If you're just shipping a car to someone, you don't have to deal with that, or if you're flying to the place to receive the car, you don't have to deal with it because you'll be there for sure. So that's today's video to fill you in on the stresses of moving across country, um, especially when where you're moving, you don't really know anyone for, I wanna say 2,400 miles, I mean, other than my friend that lives two hours away, but it's a little stressful. So uh, if you're still here and you're here for the car content, what do you think of the new Toyota GR Corolla that got uh, announced today? Looks pretty cool. I think uh, Subaru, okay, the battery died. Um, I think Subaru, it is gonna have a run for its money. So um, if you didn't see my video about Subaru ruining itself, go check that video out. I'll link it in the top corner at the end of this video. As a former Subaru owner, uh, it's kind of sad to see what they're doing to themselves. I hope you learned something about shipping a car. Uh, I hope if you're considering doing this, you could use this video for your own information before you start considering doing this stuff. It is what it is. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow along because we're doing daily videos until we move. Hit that like button and leave some comments down below if you learned any information in this video, if you have some questions that I might be able to answer about any of this stuff, leave them down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.